What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Dino Maru from Super Sentai, or I should say Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. This is the only, I guess, uh, support unit that I'm actually going to get. He is the movie figure. So just a quick look at the box. Here he is the back. I have to say I'm actually kind of surprised because this is really rigid cardboard here. So, yeah, we wouldn't get that here in the States. Anyway, so let's open them up and take a look. Dino Moro comes with everything you see here. Some assembly is required. First thing we're going to look at is the shuriken, and we are going to go ahead and attach the components to it, or the uh, things that's going to cause the lights and sounds to start. I have already pulled the pin, so we should get some uh, sounds here. And there we go. And push the button. Putting the figure together for Dino Mode is incredibly easy. Make sure that the little figure head is pushed back. Take the shuriken and attach it to the front of the dino, or the front of the mode, or front of the guy. Take the tail and peg that into place behind the figure, but first flip up the mask. Doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, yes, it does matter which way the tail goes. And then that can bend down like that. Next up, get the parts that will form the claws in dino mode and sandwich them together. And they will peg into the back section of the little figurehead and then attach the dino head, which is easier said than done. Of course, I'm just failing dramatically. This dino mode isn't very good, I will admit. It really does make me think of just a dude wearing a costume. It's not very good. It's, it, there's a lot of imagination involved in this look. <laughs> Overall, I do like the coloring, the silver, the gold, the green, and the orange work really well. But the overall aesthetic of the dino mode is one I'm not too keen on. I don't think it looks very good. I get what they're going for. I just don't care for it all that much. There's a robot mode hidden in here, so we will first pull the dino head off. Pull the dino front legs off and take the chest bit off, flip up the head, turn the figure around and pull off the shuriken, peg the dino tail into the back of the figure. Yeah, peg it in correctly because those are the pegs that you want to use. And then this is supposed to be able to point down. I have it upside down probably. Yep. And then we can attach the dino head to the front of the robot, like that. And then these bits will actually fit on the shoulders, and those peg in like this. So here we have this little armed robot mode that's pretty terrible. In fact, it really reminds me of something out of Ultraman, not of Super Sentai. I think I have seen this boss or this bad guy in Ultraman before. <laughs> you can see the robot head in there. I'll try and get a better picture, but man, that's pretty bad. Robot's head looks really cool, like it's being eaten. I like that. Yes. And of course, Dino Maru can merge with Shinkano. To do that, you have to first remove Yellow's arm, the sword, and the shield, and then take the red Zord, or Shinobi Maru, and put him on as the right arm. And then Dino Maru can sit in the throne. And, uh, they're just getting the, those bits in there, and he just kind of sits there. He pegs in, but not real sturdy. And now for the hat.
What you just heard is the only sounds you're going to get in this mode. You can then give him some weapons! And we always like weapons here. His feet become large, uh, I guess, like, banging sticks? Or I'm not sure. They just become like large axes or something. And you can get his one arm to hold both of the, uh, both of the arm bits. I guess they're supposed to be axes, maybe a shield of some sort? I don't know. But he can wield both of them at the same time. And here we go. This is Shurikenjum Dino. And I probably just mispronounced that horribly. He can totally sit in Lion Ha'o. And um, yeah, he's all right. I love the visor, though. Yeah, that visor is pretty freaking awesome. Overall, Dino Maru is just okay. He's not great, but if you are a Ninja fan, then you're going to want to pick him up. Now guys, I don't know if this is the last uh, support mech that we're going to get. We've had three so far, the elephant, the UFO, and the submarine. And now we have a dinosaur. So that was a green elephant, blue UFO, purple submarine, orange dinosaur. I know there is one more mecha coming in the line after Lion Ha'o, which that review will be coming up after this guy's review. And then uh, there's one more sixth or six combiner that's going to be similar to this guy, or Shuriken Mar Shur Shuriken Mar Shuriken O. Oh, geez, I'm failing with names today. I apologize. There's going to be one more mech coming that we know of. Don't know if there's going to be any some more support mechs. This might be it. Just before I go, I would like you to go over to tokunation.com. My good friend Denno has a fantastic gallery of Dino Maru up. So go ahead and check that out. Please see the description for the link. Anyway, guys, so uh, please tune in to my next video review, which will be Lion Ha'o. And as always, I'm Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.